Hey gang, Power Bricks back with another Lego Megazord review, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Egyptian Force Megazord. Now, this Megazord consists of three Zords. We have the Red Sphinx over there, which is piloted by the Red Ranger. We have the Blue Ra, or the Egyptian Bird, which is piloted by the Blue Ranger. And we have the Yellow Scorpion, which is piloted by the Yellow Ranger. So we're going to get into each Zord and each Ranger. And this is part one of part two, because there is another Zord with the Crocodile, the Cobra, and the Torbo and Anubis. There's two other Rangers also, which is the Evil Squad, but this is a good team. And we're going to go over these guys, so if you hear any music in the background, it's just music playing in my house, so don't even mind it. Just let's get to the video and let's show you these Zords. And so, the first one we are going to start off with is the Yellow Ranger. And getting it to her, this is a simple little design I did just for the line. I just really wanted to show you guys that, you know, I can make a little more things. I don't know. Besides Zords, I just wanted to try something else. And this is all I got. So, the little rotation you have in the arms are there. It's a simple little design. And... The leg movement, it just goes like that. It's super limited. And if you're too rough, these things will pop off. But it's a little something. So she does come with a few little articulated weapons. The first one is a gun that slides right into her hand like that. Pew, pew, pew. So there's her gun. We can leave that in our hand because, actually no we cannot, because I have to plug in the next weapon on that side anyway. But the next one is this little blade I'm giving her, just sort of a little, you know, something she can fight with. You know, it, it will pop off so easily, it's just like a, a super small weapon. So I don't want to be too rough with this thing. So bam, there is her weapon. And we will go and plug in her shield right here, just so she can, you know, have a little more fighting power. Her arm's a little loose for some odd reason. I don't know why. I tried to use my uh, Zord glue, I just call it, but it's just a toy glue. And it kind of stiffens the joints, but it's like it did that, but it's not exactly as tight as it should be, so... That's pretty much it for that, and let's get into the Zord. Alrighty, and so here is Scorpion. This is the Yellow Ranger's mech, and I think it came out pretty interesting. Uh, I think this is my second Scorpion I've ever made. So yeah, I made one way in my earlier days. It was the magenta color. But yeah, that was the Angel Beast Megazord. If you haven't checked those videos out, check them out. That and the God Beast Megazord. So, uh, it's just a simple little design for the Scorpion. I didn't want to do too much. Whoops. But, we're going to move the camera back just a bit. Because it's a bit too close. So, articulation. Whoops. Yeah. That comes off pretty easy. It's just on a small little hinge. But, the articulation is there for the tail and the stinger. It is there. Legs are also articulated and so are the claws so that's pretty much it for the yellow rangers and her zord so let's move on to the next alrighty and next is the blue ranger and get a little focus on that camera please hurry up alrighty so here he is and he came up pretty interesting he has a little lightning blade in his hand uh, the articulation is the same for all of them. Uh, they all have the little leg articulation and the hand. They're just small little ranger knight figure thingies. So yeah, that's his little lightning blade. He could also hold this staff here. And we're going to place that right in his hand. The Staff and Jewel is the name. So here is this Staff and Jewel. And his lightning Garuda blade, or whatever you want to call it. I guess we can call this the Egyptian Garuda. So, 
we will be taking a look at it now and this is blue zord the egyptian garuda i went for the old school sentai approach with the colorway and the design of the blockiness aesthetic of a classic super sentai so articulation the wings move up and down they're on a ball joint so they are articulated and his head kind of moves up and down just to get a little look at his face guys let's get a focus there all right come on camera rock steady so there it is guys the Zord and we will move on to the next one red alrighty and guys here is the Red Ranger looking all mighty nice in red so he comes with a scythe and he is the same as the rest he has a little jewel in the middle so you know pretty interesting little guy you know the same articulation arms legs you know they all move and stuff it's the same deal you got with the other two uh, also it's the same for the snake and the crocodile ranger they're also the same but they're evil now we can take this out of his hand and get to his little weapon since they are just sitting there his little daggers so we are just going to plug these right in. Whoa, it just fell, so I'm going to pick it up right now, guys, and we'll get back to this. Dun, 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 dun. Here it is, the Sphinx. Now the Sphinx is probably one of my favorites because this comes with two things. It's more of a futuristic Egyptian theme, by the way. Um, the Sphinx Zord and it comes with the giant Gigas Jet. This is just a carrier Zord. It is the Gigas Jet and it has two cannons. We're going to look at it because it looks super old Sentai-ish. I love it. Um, this is sort of the design for it. They just fly around in it. And it sort of holds all the Zords, but it's so big, it becomes a piece of monument structure for this. So, this Sphinx has two modes. It's the, it's in the original mode, we're going to get into that. And we're going to also just get a little, other, little, little look at this guy really quick while wow, there's a hair in there. But uh, this is pretty much the it. This is the color scheme. It looks so cool to me. I don't know why. I love this thing. Um, let's just get into the Sphinx. Alrighty, here it is, and Sphinx is huge. It is a huge piece of plastic. Um, very heavy and hefty. It took a lot of bricks to make. Uh, you have ratchet joints on the little feet and in the front for the giant hands, feet thingy. So, that's pretty much what it is of uh, the Sphinx. I can't give you anything else besides that. Now, to get into the monument structure mode, we are going to need that Giga Jet here. Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to split it and have it in two separate compartments like that. Have it to the side. This would have been another jet mode, guys, but you know how it is. Whoops. You know how it is with the Legos. So we're going to move that to the side and get it all merged up by folding that up. The satisfaction of Ratchet. Who else loves that sound? comment below I know I do I can't help it so you plug that in there and you plug this in here flip these out and there is the giant monument mode of the Sphinx BAM you guys be the judge size comparison up to the Red Ranger is quite a bot definitely kind of looks like he can pilot this thing he would have to be a lot smaller oh, I should kick the camera he'd have to be a lot smaller because he's a zord but other than that he's pretty cool so this is it guys and now it's time for the merging sequence I think it is so let's get into that right whoops that have to be even let's get into it let these come off they don't really stick securely anyway but it, it's enough for a mode so, 
We're going to start off with the legs, and we're just going to set these up and move to the side, buddy. Yeah, that's my leg. All right. You set these up, and those are the legs right there. Next, we are going to come to the whole entire upper half of this robot, and we're going to fold in the legs. We're going to rotate these all the way around, like so. Fold these up. We are going to kind of dig in there, get that head. Whoops. The gem was supposed to stay. That usually does not come out. I applied a bit too much force right there. But you just rotate this right here and go like that. And there's your upper body. Now, next for the hands, we're going to come to this section here and here and just flip down each little finger until you have an entire Zord. So, there is, whoa. There is that, guys. So, next we're going to plug them in, like so. These pegs go right, oh, let me get that correct. I can't really see from the camera. You plug these in right into those sockets. Boom, boom. And once we stand him up, there is the upper body of our Zord. Now, let's get to the next. So here is blue and yellow and right what we're going to do is we're going to get blue and we're just going to pull it right here and it should just detach the head and there it is finished. The wings are already, nope, now they are initiated for Zord mode and the head is ready. Scorpion, you just pull off the tail and this is where things get a little different. So we come to this section here and what we're going to do is we are just going to fold up all of the legs and then we're going to come to the front of the well the front of the zord can you stick on dang okay come on to the front of the zord and bam now one of these will become a peg for the zord to hold the shield but this is the shield and the once you flip this up and here this is the wand of the zord that it holds it owns a little wand piece and a shield. It's not technically a sword. You can't really use it as a sword for this sword. Um, I chose not to use a sword. I should have, but nah, a wand. So we're gonna go with a wand and this piece of the bird and connect them now. Okay, so here is Sphinx. And what we're going to do is plug the bird head right on top of there. Come to the back and get this portion here. These four will plug right into the back of the Zord, like so, thus forming the wings. And what we're going to do is turn the beak like that sideways and open up the head, which pretty much there is the entire Zord, but it is not complete, of course, without the yellow. So we will add yellow right now, and what we're going to do is get our scorpion and we're going to plug it into the hand of the megazord so to do that we're going to get this piece here and we're going to lift this up here and what we're going to do with the zord is we're going to get that hole sitting right inside of his thumb will be the peg for this so he can securely grip the uh, scorpion shield so I will insert it here And thus is the shield. Now we shall go to the wand. And his wand is wielded by plugging that into. Without making his fist fall out. But you plug his wand into there. And there is your Egyptian Megazord. So yeah. There's the Zord guys. Tell me what you think. It's time to get into the articulation. I keep shaking the camera. I don't know why. Uh, that is completely my fault, guys. Sorry for the shakiness. I got to get used to this new light ring. It's not something I actually always use. So we're going to get into this. Now, in order to get into the articulation, we're just going to have to take this out of his hand because it falls out all the time. But I actually may be wrong because, bam, 
We just problem solved the entire Zord. Now he can really grip it. So articulation, we have the standard almost 360 on a ratchet. Now the reason why it doesn't go 360 obviously is because of the wings and the legs. They have a sort of twist to them, but that is pretty much it. I'm going to give you guys just a little look at the Zord. You know, a little rundown of the Mecha from the back. You know, I try my hardest to uh, hide a bunch of studs, but I do like how the studs look. It looks cool to me. It gives it more detail. I don't know if that's just me. Uh, a lot of builders that build Mech, they don't like the studs sticking out. But with me, I honestly don't have a problem because it is a Lego Megazord at the end of the day. Or a Lego Mecha, so regardless, it's going to have studs. So, you can't really nitpick a Lego. So, there it is, guys. You let me know what you think in the comment section below. Before we go, we will take a look at the face. So, you can get sort of the look at it. Beautiful. I love this Zord so much. You guys be the judge. And this, whoops, oh, shaky camera. Sorry about that. But this is Fabric signing off. Peace.